at the age of 27, I was young, you know, a little stubborn as most Latino males will be. And uh, I ignored the symptoms uh, that I had. I had some constipation, I had uh, urinary incontinence, I even had some um, pain in my, in my testes with like blood flow. You know, I was like, nothing in Advil or, you know, some orange juice can't cure. And the problems persisted and, uh, and eventually I ended up getting a MRI that revealed a huge mass of my abdominal cavity. After my initial surgery, I had, um, was referred to Moffitt Cancer Center. It was two years, uh, it included uh, 17 cycles of chemotherapy, uh, 26 radiation treatments, and six surgeries overall. And uh, at one point I thought about quitting. My doctor just sat down with me and he did a simple graph. It was like, this is what happens if you don't take any more chemo, then your likelihood of surviving, and this is what happens if you continue. Uh, Ewing sarcoma at the time had about a 15% chance of survival. And I was actually the first patient at Moffitt Cancer Center to go through the entire standard of protocol, which had just been developed like a year before. And uh, I'm very thankful that my doctor insisted that I continue the treatment and that, that my nurse was there with me the whole time and then and lend me her shoulder to cry on in those moments that I needed her. Now I work here as a business analyst and it's uh, been a fascinating journey, uh, both personally and professionally. And, uh, how many people can say that they work for the company that saved their life? The mission statement at Moffitt Cancer Center, for those who don't know, is to contribute to the prevention and cure of cancer. And I literally, to this day, and will always, until I pass away, feel that I am the embodiment of that mission statement.